it's good to have you here uh, to explain all the technical aspects of PPG paint and what it means to the Sipchrome project car. Thanks for having us, Matthew. PPG's been involved in paint, especially automotive paint, for way over 100 years. We're really happy to be part of this project. We're using some of our modern paint on this car today, and I'm going to run through with Matthew some of the tips, and we'll have a look at some of the products that he's put on the car. Okay, okay so Matt, tell me, where have you got to so far on the car? Well, we've edge primed, um, done the primer filler after all the bodywork was stripped back to bare metal. Uh, we've block sanded that, which was an epic task, and we went through quite a bit of material to get it exactly where we wanted. Some of the parts had to have polyester on them, like the spoiler because it's fiberglass. Uh, and again, the proper preparation on it. We finally got it to a place where we're happy considering it's fiberglass. Fiberglass can be interesting to work on. Did you find that the body was a bit bent and out of shape when you first got it? It had more waves than the cruel sea, George. <laughs> so it is a 1969 car. Yes. And it is a high performance car. So they do tend to twist a little bit over time, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But you've got that all straight now. All straight now. There's less than 9% of the original car left here. The only original exterior panel is the turret, and even that needed a lot of work. So in that process, we've been correcting gaps, body lines, all of these sort of things, and the right preparation steps to where we are at now, mm -hmm. ready for final coats. So Matt, I can see from the range of products that you've got here, you've chosen some of the best to do this job. I'd like to start with the epoxyurethane primer. This is one of my favourites. What do you like about it? Easy to apply and a perfect base. And we've got enough uh, time to be able to put the next repair shot on because it's uh, usable for up to eight hours without rubbing. That's a fantastic thing. That's a bonus. Yeah. What I like about it too is you can use it to seal off work while something's got to go into storage. Or if you're putting a polyester filler in, you're able to use it to seal off the polyester filler as well. Mm. Um, I've also seen you've chosen an old favorite, high fill. How did you, how did you find that to rub? Better than most. Uh, it wasn't like a rock, <laughs> which was great, but it's still firm enough that I've got a good base and I use a long block. It's a yeah. meter long. So yeah. to get a car like this straight, because even though we replaced all the sheet metal, none of it was straight. It just isn't. And that material, fantastic. No clogging on the paper. And it got blocked it down nice and straight. it's filled well, did it? Yeah, it filled really well. Oh, terrific. That's good to know. You follow it up then with direct gloss, Deltron direct gloss. And you need to do that. Why? Because these are not painted on stripes. These are vinyl wraps. And vinyl wraps do not stick properly to base coat. Um, are they they're going to be noticeable? Do you, do you need to bury them? I'm absolutely sure we need to bury them. You've now blocked that down with what grade of paper? This is a 1200 block down. Oh, okay. Well, that would have taken a while. Ah, uh, yes. It's really straight. Yep. Yep. That. There's 14 hours of blocking there. Wow. Okay. You lose a bit of weight doing that too. You can go to McDonald's now. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to use the new OptiClear? Yes. Um, this is a great product. It uh, has got a, a mixing ratio that allows you to get a lot of gloss from the product uh, and a fantastic flow. So what we're going to need to do first, we normally put on two coats of clear, but what you'll need to do is put an extra couple of coats on these stickers first. The first one you're going to do just over there and the second one will take up a little bit further. And flash off time? Flash off time, by the time you've gone around the whole car, you'll be ready for that next coat. And then yeah. I want you to leave it for about half an hour before you carry on with the rest of it. And Just the, let it settle. And the berry coat, how much thinner should we use in the mix? I know it depends on temperature and... It's a good question. So what we're going to do with the first coat, you're just going to thin it down as per normal, which is right. around 10%. Yep. The second one the same, and just step it out and leave it. At the same time, I want you to do around these edges because you'll need to bury these. If when the, when the crew goes to chop and buff this car, cut and polish it, they're going to want some meat to play with. The last thing you want is them rubbing through the edges. So we just put a couple of light coats over these sharp lines and swage lines and also down the door jams. 
and flash off time between flash off the, flash off is the same flash off time will be the same as okay. it is it's about five to ten minutes yeah. and that should be fine when it comes to doing the clear coat it's really important that you use a slow hardener and the slow thinner that way you'll get the best flow and best gloss Matt, thank you very much for spending the time to show us the Synchrome Camaro. PPG are really proud to be associated with the building of this car and the painting of this car. You've done a fantastic job so far. Can't wait to see it when it's finished.